Hello, my name is Cecilia. I'm 20 years old. I currently live in Texas and I am pansexual. That was, I don't know if that was hard to say. It was just, I don't know if this was anti, I, I think, I don't know if that was anticlimactic. I'm trying to go into this without editing any of it because I want it to be authentic and raw and I don't want to cut out any words I say so I'm gonna try to be concise I didn't make any notes about this video I just wanted to sit down and talk to the camera so and by the way if you're not into this kind of video um, I will have a new video coming up in a couple days it's talking about the books I've been reading so stay tuned for that but yeah so if you're wondering what pansexual means if you're not caught up in different terms of that kind of nature. Pansexual is a similar term to bisexual, basically meaning that you are, like how bisexual means that you are attracted to basically two or more genders, pansexual means that you are attracted to all genders. So male, female, um, trans, non-binary, everything of that nature. So, I know they're similar, but I just, yeah, I just wanted to, uh, uh I don't want to cry or anything like that. I guess I should start of how I've kind of come into this realization for myself, because this might seem random to some people of, ran of why I'm talking about this or why this has come up, but basically since I was about my freshman year of high school, since I was about 14, I had known that I was not straight. I just, I knew, but I didn't know exactly to what caliber. I didn't know if I was just interested in women, if I was interested in everybody, no, like if I didn't, wasn't interested in men, I didn't know at that point. And there would be little tidbits of me trying to help figure out. And keep in mind, I'm, since I'm 20, that was six years ago, so I've kind of known this for about six years of my life. I had realized I would constantly, I had like lots of crushes on girls um, in my life. I, I shoot, at, at one point in my life, I was in love with my best friend, Loki, which in high school, which was a whole thing. But I, at least for most of high school, I felt myself leaning more towards being interested in women, I still was interested in men and I was still, I had a friend who was um, trans who I had a crush on for a bit and I just was kind of, I don't know if I was afraid of a label or labels and that and anything like that. I just didn't want to label myself until I had known exactly what I was feeling until I worked out all worked out all my feelings and I didn't think I actually fully got there until college um there was of course tidbits um I just had realized in college well mostly because most of my friends just assumed I was bi. <laughs> they, just, they just knew. They were like, you got lots of, you, you got lots of crush on girls. We, we get, we get it. I didn't really have to say anything like that. And, which was nice. I didn't have to come out and be like, yo, by the way, I ain't straight. Cause I didn't even know at what point, um, where I was basically on in the spectrum. So, yeah. I've kind of, I've known about this for a while and I just, I wasn't, since my freshman year of college, so about two years, I've identified as bisexual and I kind of sticks with that term until about um, six months ago, I started familiarizing myself with more of the terms and I don't know, when I heard pansexual and I heard what it was about, it just fit for me. It just made more sense. I... I'm like, if you cute, you cute. I'm attracted to you. Um, if we're vibing, we're vibing. It's just, I'm like, I don't have, 
I don't have a preference in that kind of way. And I think that's totally awesome and totally okay. Um, it's probably random why I'm making this video. I'm kind of, I feel like I'm all over the damn place. <sighs> Fuck it, I waited to try and because the air conditioning's running and other people are listening to loud TV in the house, but I don't give a shit anymore. I just want to fucking talk and film this freaking video. <sighs> um, I don't even know where I was. It's been a good hour and a half and I've been sad. So I guess I should just try as much. And then again, sorry if you can hear stuff in the background. I'm just trying. I just want to film this video. But um I was afraid to film this video for many reasons. I didn't know what my family would say. I mean, the only people who know that I'm not straight are, or at least that I think I know, like that I, I have specifically told, are my friends, or a few friends, my mom, and two cousins, and that's it. So like less than 10 people know. I was afraid of family members who either I'm not very close to or who are homophobic and who don't understand these kinds of things, how they will treat me. I'm scared of people thinking that, oh, I'm doing this for clout or I am just curious and I fuck you <laughs> if you think that, I'm sorry, but I'm just tired of people assuming that I'm straight. I'm tired of feeling like I can't be myself. I'm tired of feeling like I'm hiding a part of myself. I just want to I just want to be open about who I am and I feel like this video will help and I've just kind of given a I don't give a shit moment I'm just like I'm just posting this video because I I've just gone through the last few months just really learning to love myself learning to be who I am and to not care about what other people think and I think that this is a good step forward and um, I figure this would be a good step to Sunday I'm filming this on Thursday and on Sunday I am going to Pride Dallas Pride so if anyone wants to go with me I'm going so far I'm going by myself but if anyone wants to go with me let me know um, and on Sunday I plan on posting an Instagram photo on my Instagram which has a lot more people of, of who I'm closer to on there um, and basically letting them know about these things and linking this video so I don't have to explain myself anymore and I'm scared I'm very scared to do it but I I know I need to and I know that I want to I I just want everything to be out there in the open and I had realized before this that I had not actually officially come out ever but you know this is my video this is this is my coming out video I know everything's been jumbled but I'm pansexual guys and that's fucking amazing um I think that's it I've been crying, and I hope this was all okay, but I feel a weight has been lifted off my shoulders, and I feel, I just feel better knowing that I've told people how I felt, and 
that makes me happy. So, yeah, please don't bring any hate, just, just positivity. I just wanted to share this little piece of myself with you guys. And that's it. I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.